Hi, welcome back to my vlog, Peace of Life. Today, I am so excited to share something with you. It's an unboxing. I've never done one of these before. And I am in SoCal. I'm in West Hollywood, my dream place. I'm just here for the weekend. And I wanted to share with you um, a little gift I got myself. It's like a pre-birthday gift. I've been coveting this for a while and I've been wanting it. And one of my favorite vloggers purchased this item. And, um, okay, so it's a Dior Twilly. And I'm sure you've probably heard of it. Um, they're like a little silk scarf, but they just recently did a curated package of all the astrological signs. So it's so cool. And I don't know if it's gonna be around forever, so I thought it's like a really cool piece to have. So it has all the astro astrological signs. So it's from January all the way to December. But she happened to get my um, astrological sign, and she's not actually a Libra, but she purchased it just because what it said on the on the back of it so each one of them has a little saying to go with your astrological sign so I'm gonna do this unboxing right here so it's the Dior Twilly and I purchased it from the location on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills so it comes like this a little bit of tissue they give you a copy of the receipt but it comes in this really cute little packaging so this cute little circular package I'll probably use this and reuse it I'll probably keep this in here because I'm so bad about keeping things in mint condition so I'll leave it in here so if you're not familiar with the Dior Twilly it's a piece of silk and it's so beautiful and this one's great because it's like a scarf but they call it a Twilly this one's great because it has black on one side and it has white on the other side so typically a Twilly when Dior designed it back in the 1940s he designed it as a wrist scarf so you would tie it around your wrist like this and this is really why I purchased it I mean this is how I planned on wearing it normally is to wear it on my wrist because I think it's such, such a cool piece just to add to your wrist so what you would do is take these two little pieces and you can tie them again to make the knot a little bit tighter so it'll go around like let's see kind of like this so you can have a little knot and you can have it on your wrist, which I think is so adorable. That's really why I purchased it. But there's so many other ways to wear it that I've been really inspired by. I kind of did a little bit of research on it. So another cool way to wear it is you can do it as a scarf, which I think would be really cool. Even if you're at work and you have like a beautiful like sweater on or like a silk blouse, you could leave it just hanging like this. Or you could do like a bandana and you can tie it around I think this would be a kind of a cool look, kind of like just 70s, kind of bohemian, or you could tie it, you know, in a double knot, probably more of a traditional bandana. I mean, it's so great. You could wear it like this. Also, today, I wore it a little bit differently. I saw someone online, and they had it worn with a ponytail, so I thought it was so cute just so you can see the back of it. So you can tie it like that. And then I did a little bow. I was wearing a black silk top. So I had the white part showing. And you could do it as a little bow. And I do have the Dior tribal earrings on right now in pearl. But look how adorable that is. So you can wear it like that also. Then I know a lot of people take it and they wear it on their handbag. So I wanted to show you that too really quickly. So you can take it and you can put it on your handbag. So this is my um, Louis Vuitton um, Palm Spring. Well, they say Palm Spring backpack, but I wear it as a crossbody. And you know, I guess a lot of people weren't aware of that. So I'm, I wanted to tell you that because I was in LA and I got a bunch of compliments on this and people are like, oh wow, I didn't realize you could wear it as a crossbody. I thought it was a backpack. So they give it to you and they give you two of these leather, um, straps so you can wear it as a backpack but i wear mine as a crossbody typically just over my shoulders because it's so long and i also tend to carry it by the handle a lot too so there's different ways to wear it so again back to the twilly i get distracted very easily sorry about that but you can also tie it on the strap and just have it on here like that or you can do it just like have it kind of hanging like this. It's a really great look too. You can do it with the black or the white just to give your bag a little bit of like noticeability. So that's kind of cute. Also, you can, this is my Givenchy bag, but it 
has uh, the double straps here. So you can do this where you can wrap it around the strap, which I just think is so adorable. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube doing this in vloggers, but you can wrap it around the strap just for time's sake. I'll give you the gist of it. But you wrap it around like this. You know, obviously you wanna do it evenly, but you put it around and so you can have it on the strap. So when you carry it, you can see the silk and it's so cool, but you wanna wrap it again all the way around. And I probably would have the white showing against the black, but it's so adorable. So there's so many different ways to wear it. So we'll get to the good part about the astrological sign. So again, I'm a Libra and what I really love about this, okay, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. Let me get this off of here. So what I love about this is that um, I typically wear lots of blacks, neutral colors, so I love this. So the one side is black and it has the moon and the stars. It has the scales, which is so cool. Now on the other side, and this is why the vlogger that I follow, her name is um, Tamara Kalnick. I hope I don't mess that up. And she purchased this, and she, again, she's not a Libra, but she loved what it said. And it has Christian Dior, but then if you can see, I'll put it back there, there you go. It says La Balance. So Libra is all about the scales, and I love the way it says La Balance, and then it has a little heart. I mean, we all need a little bit of balance in our lives. I think that is such a great priority for 2000, to finish out 2017, is make sure you're balancing your life with family and friends, with work and self-care and taking time for a vacation or just 30 minutes of self-care, reading a book, sitting in the sun. Balance is a key to life. You can't have one without the other because again, like the scales, if you're doing too much of one thing, the scale's gonna tip, so you really need to find balance. And I think this is just a really great reminder that it says live balance. And I think just having it, I probably will wear it on my wrist more but having it on my wrist, I feel like it's just gonna be a great little reminder when I'm wearing it, when I'm looking down, if I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, just to remember to keep the balance. So I wanted to share this with you. I just love Dior, and I think it's just a great piece. And again, I don't know if it's gonna be around for long. And the salesperson did say to me that um, they were limited and that there weren't many left. And I know a lot of times salespeople say that, with luxury goods, but I have gone to other stores. Um, I went to the store in San Francisco and they were sold out of it. The store in South Coast Plaza was sold out of it and they just had gotten in a new shipment in, at Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and they were going fast. And I know online you can't purchase it. It says purchase in boutique only. So if it's something you're really interested in and you maybe wanna get it, I would get it now, even if you wanna celebrate it later or if you have somebody that wants to get a gift for you. Here it is, this is great. I also wanted to show you really quickly, just because we're talking about Dior, or my sunglasses that I'm wearing right now, they're the Dior Real Pop. They're um, 2017 fall, and this trend is a big trend. So you know all the color lenses they have right now. I know yellow's been seen a lot, and I've tried the yellow. It doesn't work for me. Just sometimes trends just don't work for you. You know what I mean. When you wear a trend and you just feel like a schmuck, I mean, that's how I felt. The yellow lenses, I felt like I was just like, I couldn't pull it off and I felt so uncomfortable that I had to take them off. But I got these ones recently. I saw them on a few um, vloggers that I love. Um, Livia Palermo has been wearing them, Amy Sung. And I love that they're purple, so they're very subtle and they're just more wearable. I just feel like they're not too extreme. I just love them when I see them on Bella Hadid and Gigi Hadid, Kendall Jenner, but I just can't pull off the yellow. But the purple, I feel, is pretty versatile and it's a little bit more subtle. So I feel like you can wear them pretty easily. I get a lot of compliments on them and they have the gold frame. So I think in the fall, they'll be really cool too, like with a fur, a faux fur, I mean, faux fur leather jacket that's like brown and black and camels with like leather jeans and ankle booties and like a black turtleneck and then just have these on, maybe with your hair pulled back and just looking really chic. And I think this is a great pair of fall glasses because it's not a heavy dark lens because it's you aren't getting a lot of sun exposure but they're just really cool and chic and i've been wearing them so much they go great with metallic they look great with your warm colors like olive and they look great with white black denim so this is great too so again i just want to show you some of my favorite dior pieces if you love my channel or if you like what i showed you please subscribe to me um and follow me 
Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like it. I'll do more of these, I'll do hauls. Um, again, do something great for yourself today. My vlog's called Peace of Life and really it's about finding time to find some peace in your life. You deserve it. Um, even if it's like 30 minutes of reading or sitting in the sun or having a, a hot cup of tea or taking a hot bath, just find some time listening to music, going for a drive, just something that's gonna make you smile. And speaking of making you smile, you haven't heard Jay-Z's new CD. It is amazing. And I'm probably too old to be saying dope and sick and cool as F, but it really is. And there's actually a song on there called Smile. And at the end of the song, it has Maya Angelou um, citing one of her poems. And it just touches my heart. She talks about living your life, you know, and doing what you want to do and to remember to smile. So keep smiling. Come back and see me. I hope this is a place where we can all support each other and inspire each other. And again, even if you don't get the Dior Twilly, you can get something that's similar. Never feel like you have to get the same item. I'm just here to inspire and um, just a place to lift each other up and have a little bit of fun and share ideas. And again, if you haven't heard um, Jay-Z's CD, you have to check it out. I do have titles, so I know that you get privy to some of his music. I don't know if you can find it on Apple or Spotify yet. Um, obviously, this isn't sponsored. I have four of you, I have four subscribers. Not very many views, so I just love doing this because I love fashion and I love people. And so please check it out. But remember that CD. It's just amazing. Um, come back and see me. I hope to see you soon. Have a fabulous weekend and be safe. Bye.